previously said that your wife or husband, children, they are the one who will be included. The name the amount of children you got and what's it about just in case something happened to you, who will get to, the organization can get to. And besides that, if you have death like you said, uh, husband, wives, children, return to you, we give you the benefit. Because we feel it in our phone, you are with an organization that will look up to you when you cry. Even you happy, we are there. As I said, this is why my president is not here today. We are bereaved for now. Her working member should lose her mother and her family for us. The president was not able to be here today. This is why I'm here on behalf of her. And we also registered with Liberia. Okay, I want to know how many members do you have? We are roughly, uh, we are 28, mm -hmm. yes, but it's not easy trapping and <laughs> coming back on the boat, mm -hmm. they are fighting it. That's why we are mm here -hmm. and we meet every last Sunday. Mm -hmm. we have, it, it was the first Sunday, but we are changing it because of the, church, 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 yeah, the church. church service and thing. And it's actually good. we are fighting it, but actually we are making it. Excuse me. Likewise, we from the ESA chapter, we are for the seven members personally for the eight. For the eight. And when I took over, this is my second term as president in 2009, we were 35 members, but we have grown. As our chair, Lily just said, we have 48 members. And it's not easy, we could have been larger, but in every organization, there should be commitment. And some of the women are not committed. So therefore, we, we, you know, we have a letter, delinquent letter. If you don't meet up to your dues and you don't attend meetings, you know, and help in the organization, we terminate you. You know, we will send a verbal notice first, then a written notice, and then after that, we terminate you. Because if you are part of an organization or in any group, you should be committed to that group. And we have our constitution, and when you join, you are given a copy of the constitution. It tells you what the group is about. And if you want to be a part, you should abide by the rules and the bylaws of the constitution. Um, your own law, um, which state do uh, you based in? We are in um, Silver Spring, Florida. So do you have members coming from the other 51 states or just do people that are in the room? Right now, our membership is based in Maryland. We have not had any um, person from another state that want to organize and another branch of today's women. And we are hoping that some states will see the good works that we are doing and they will write us to establish or today's women into, in their state. But do you go into other states to promote it? Well, what, we do not um, travel to, to other states to promote it, but whenever we are having programs like our Christmas gather, we send tickets to people that usually attend our, our um, program, and we ask that person you know, to go and spread the word for us, or if he, can, he or she can bring other people to you know to our program and when they come to our program we try to encourage them you know to see if they can establish an, uh, a branch of today's women in their state yeah. when well, we have seen a problem like that when they were brought into this country and established at the Baptist church congo town Bible, it was like we were only from congo town People came and started asking me why they say that this organization is only from in Canada. We said no. We spread our hand out to get other people from other areas. Like now only in Canada, we had people from Peaceville, Jacobton, you name it. They started coming. And we had a habit of going out into the township, cleaning up. Today's women we meet and we get our tools and we go into the township and clean up. And whatsoever we get there, we bring it and be ready to go in the other township to clean up. But it was like I heard my brother icing is it that men can join to see. Yes, we had we had our men, the late consular one also. Whoa. Yeah. Actually he was not a member but his wife. She is a strong member, a treasure for this organization. And he was always there for us. 
Yeah, we'll go on with this Saturday examination too. That's a good one. <laughs> so this morning with tomorrow's men. Yeah, is, is there organization restricted to certain religion? No. 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 So it's open to everyone. Open to everyone. And in the future, we look forward to establishing other chapters in other states. Because like your sister asked, we ourselves have not promoted it. It was brought, you know, to one of our meetings that we reached out to the other states and open chapters, but some kick against it, so we didn't come up to one conclusion, and that is why. But Delaware was one of uh, the states that showed interest in establishing of today's women because there are some people in the Baltimore area that want to join. I have my relatives in Baltimore that want to join, but the distance from Baltimore to uh, Silver Spring is about 35, 45 minutes. You know, so they don't like the long distance. So, you know, in the future, we'll probably have other chapters to make it, you know, easier for everyone. Well, um, my, my drive for this year, um, being the chairman of the board, is um, to establish a branch within Baltimore. I have a niece that, live, that lives in Baltimore, and she has expressed her desire to join the Today's Women. So mm -hmm. when, I go back, um, when I go back to the States, I'm going to call her for her to host one of the meetings during the summer that we can um, go down there and invite her group of women over there so we can go and talk to them and see if they can establish a branch of today's women within the Baltimore area. Uh, uh, my question goes to the librarian chapter. You are quite familiar with the the divisions that we have in education now, presently, the, that is with the kind of books, Station there and other stuff. And has the, is the organization working towards such a thing as a public library? Where